Hello and welcome back again to another episode of Diaries of Death. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death of the Hardcore Journey in World of Warcraft. Frost Mage is the name of the game. We made our way to the Desolus Wastes of Desolus, uh, a fun zone uh, which is not only super super far remote from everything else but also quite desolate. Uh, the name uh, definitely rings a bell in the zone. Today <clears throat> we're going to do some questing here including a few quests on the way as well as uh, the quest hub up here uh, and an orc fortress. Let's see how much we can really do because with level uh, 33 we're sort of ready for the quests here, but still a little bit low. And I can, I hope that we get <clears throat> all the way to 34, and then maybe we can make it to Strangothorn, aka Booty Bay. So without further ado, let's move on. Running directly into Rexa, one of my favorite characters in the World of Warcraft universe, he's just displayed as a skull <clears throat> because he's uh, that strong. Anyways, he's a raid boss, that's for sure. Moving on. All right, we're <coughs> reaching the Kodo graveyard, which is a fun place. There are a couple of quests. First one that we've gotten uh, gives us the Kodo Combobulator, uh, which is going to tame Kodos, dying Kodos. Not aged ones, not ancient ones, but dying Kodos. And then they're following us and we just basically need to run them all the way back to uh, our little uh, n uh, goblin who has given it uh, to us. <coughs> a little bit of a cumbersome quest, but a fun one nonetheless. <coughs> I'll do that uh, whilst we're doing the other quests. And <coughs> the other quests indeed are going to be here. Uh, okay, well, we need to kill a couple of quests. Let me do that. Yeah, we definitely need to do the quests first. Uh, our quest lock is completely filled. <clears throat> Very good, so let's tame the Kodos, then what else do we need to do? Slay Gelkis Centaurs, uh, I think we're capable of doing that. And Magram Centaurs. Uh, yeah, so a lot of Centaur hunting. We gotta get ahead uh, from here. Well, that's fine. Yeah, we can do southern uh, uh, Desolace first, and then we're going to go up there. So, just showcasing how the taming process works. You basically kind of move up here, then you inspect it, and there you go. Well, that's all you have to do. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let me do five real quick. All right, easy peasy. <coughs> that finishes the tame Kodo quest. Let's hand it in and free up a quest slot. Well, that's a really, really good pair of boots. Thank you so much for those. Clear upgrade. Nice. Very good. All right. Uh, uh, speaking of clear upgrade, Galkas Alliance is uh, the next upgrade we need to kill enough centaurs to win over the favor and gain some reputation and then we uh, there are more quests over here so let's do those two and maybe do that quest as well good here we are magram outrunners All we need to do is to slay a couple of them. Challenge uh, with them is they are going to cry out for help just like any other social being. Uh, 
And this is really kind of a grinding quest because we need to get to Gelkis clan neutral uh, friendly. Which are the guys over here. So we're killing here and here. Oh wow, and a shaman in level se uh, 47 just died. That is unfortunate, man. Good. Let me grind away here. As you can see, we're losing 100 reputation with the other centaurs whilst gaining 20, so 100 reputation with those Magram guys whilst gaining 100 uh, with the other clan no, other, uh, the other way around gaining 20 with the other clan losing 100 fast forwarding that a little bit all right, after quite some grinding, we're almost friendly with uh, the other Centaur faction. But that comes at the price of becoming very soon no longer unfriendly, but hostile with the uh, Mangrove clan. So it's just time accurately that we cannot stay, quote unquote, uh, unfriendly or normal with one of them one more kill and uh, we're out of here I'm just going to go along that ledge <coughs> and making sure that we're using the time whilst these guys are not hating us yet So after this quest, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go up here <coughs> and take uh, the head of our target. Good. Time to seal the deal with the centaurs. That's it, and as you can see, oh no, we're just at zero. Oh, okay, fantastic. One more kill, and things would go uh, to Hossa. Anyways, off we go to our next journey up north. So, you would have guessed it more centaurs. We need uh, Khan Deficent's head, who is deep uh, within the their rings. So what we're going to do is the classic near everything genocide style. Gonna go in and I will fast forward to the point where we have found him finally. At the moment it's just a village. All right we found Khan de Sefaf, uh, the boss of this little establishment battle stands heroic uh, strike that means he, uh, is he able to charge well he definitely is able to heroic strike and that we can't allow uh, allow plus we can't allow to have ads here ergo short clearing of uh, the area and then we're going to pull him with full mana that's the guy we need to kill and afterwards we can make our way all the way up here maybe get the bodyguard quest in between all right here it comes Wow, 
Wow, he's running away like a coward? No way. Alright, never mind. Not the strong leader that he uh, tries his uh, people to believe he is. A leader stands his ground and doesn't run away like a chicken. Good. We're getting out of here. They've killed centaurs for long enough. And off we go to the north. It's time for some orcs. Good. We're reaching the fortress. And this here is potentially one of the, the areas where most people are going to die. Gotta be very careful. So that's by large and far the area where most of the people are dying. We need to fight in in order to get the Corruptor quest. So let's do that first. Got a couple of casters here, which is always not a nice thing. These guys have Arcade Smash, but not uh, execute, which would execute would definitely explain the deadliest area here. Still not 100% sure why people are dying that much here. found it uh, it was the flayed demon uh, skin which we now need to bring back to here so time for us to trade in some quests all right we traded in the quests we now need to get 15 more centaur ears and a shadow stalker skull i remember that this area up here was a bit niche uh, to go through a couple of uh, uh, a couple of satyrs if I'm not mistaken so it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out uh, we're right back to centaur farming I suppose 15 years and then it's time for the shadow walker skull and by the way these here are the direct follow-up quest of bringing uh, them the hand I don't know why you would first kill their leader and then it's like okay let's put uh, injury to insult uh, or insult to injury whilst uh, their leader is down we're also stealing their ears but whatever it is what it is we're going to go through that and uh, afterwards it's the corruptors time let me fast forward the centaurs because that is not ultra interesting good after a while of grinding we got enough centaurs down uh, got our 15 years, so it's up uh, to us to go to the Shadow Stalkers up there, which will be interesting. I could have also grinded the ears down here, potentially from a questing perspective. Killing the head, uh, trade in, and then doing two quests at the same time would have been more efficient, but it is what it is, and um, there is no such thing as bad experience. You can always grind down mobs, and like I mentioned, 10 mobs are as much as one uh, level. And these guys here have hyper spawns, so I was able to just sit there and pull three of them, uh, then drink, pull three of them, drink, and so on. So I think it was likely even more efficient than uh, just um, questing. But then again, we're coming to the uh, question of why not AOE grind to begin with. Uh, I did that quite a quite an extensive time when I uh, used to play classic World of Warcraft so I actually could do it um, but it is a very risky maneuver and just one DC or latency can end your run completely so not sure if I like the idea all too much good let's move up here and get the shadow stalkers good we arrived in the north I think the Shadow Stalkers are even deeper in, and uh, my memory serves me well. There are Satyrs uh, here, and typically Satyrs are in World of Warcraft either stealthy uh, ambush predators or just overall dealing a lot of damage. These guys.
guys here are enraging, which in return means you just don't want to fight get to them when they are enraged. Huge damage spawns are coming up, and it seems to be an alliance quest up there for whatever reason. Rain of Fire and Immolent. Okay, that's an interesting combination. He just doesn't have the range. fire nor your immolate will do you any good if you're just frozen to the ground and don't have the range good so these guys here the hateful shadow stalkers are the ones that can drop the skull I'm not sure if they always drop it but they are definitely the ones that we need to kill And they come with explosions. And there's the skull. Okay, cool. Easy. Uh, time for us to trade in the next batch of quests before we're uh, making our way to the northwest. Yet another victim uh, claimed. 11, uh, level 11 priest this time. Good. We are. Trading in both of the quests and almost leveled up, by the way. Uh, what's the next corruptor thing? Bring the Oracle Crystal. I re vaguely remember that. Is that up here? Yeah. Okay, well, it's good because we need to get there anyways. Not sure if we can uh, do it in in uh, one sitting here, because we might need these uh, these guys here. The uh, Nagas are uh, not a joke, and they are relatively high level. So, gotta see whether or not we can do it. There is a quarter bone collection uh, quest down here, which, although being red, I think is doable. So, uh, I will continue doing that for now. Okay, the bone collection was super easy because we do have blink uh, with blink you collect the bone then you're just blinking away before uh, an enraged spirit can spawn and then you're out of range uh, so they won't aggro you which means there was an easy red quest for us to complete and i think with that completion we should level up there you go man there you go Got a frost necklace, which is great. We never had anything on the necklace uh, slot. And seven stamina catapults us to almost 1,200 hit points. Self buff. That is ultra helpful. We're finishing our permafrost build. So now target speed is reduced by 10% and three, per, uh, three extra seconds, which is super helpful because with Frostbolt 1, which uh, you can use in order to kite, you are still applying an 8 second 50% uh, slow debuff, which is great. Absolutely fabulous. So next up on our list, we want to explore the northwest a little bit. Now that we're level 34, uh, that might work out a little bit better. Let's close the talents. Uh, by the way, we also get new spells, so that might come in handy soon. Uh, got a couple of underwater quests and a lot of Nagas to kill. On top of it, up here, an Oracle Crystal. So all of that is within uh, range and typically the quests are uh, displaying the highest level type of enemy. Every Naga could be in a level range, typically between kind of highest level and up to two levels lower. So that might just be level 34 to 36 in most of the cases and although you shouldn't really level quote unquote upwards in hardcore um, i still think we can do a couple of those quests uh, without putting ourselves at too much risk um, and once we're done with that quest up here i think we're going to go back and trade in that do the follow-up quest so there's a lot to do in Des uh, desolace actually 
Okay, so we got ourselves a quest from Azor Aldamond, a human that is not working together with uh, the Alliance. He's a um, kind of rogue mage or independent mage. And we're going to get another uh, quest right down here. Ran into first Nagas and uh, it pains me to see but these are frost casters as well so underwater adventure against nagas never a good thing but it is the quest so might as well do it and it at least says that there is a quest here as well Very good. Wow. Plenty of stuff to do. As long as we can kill them from the shoreline, we're going to be fine because then we don't have to deal with the water. But I can promise you we need to go out and it will be ugly. All of these are water quests. And I had to praise World of Warcraft because it was the first MMO where I did not completely hate water quests. I came from an EverQuest uh, background and if you've ever played EverQuest underwater quests, oh my lord. It was very easy to drown. You didn't have a, a breath bar, it just happened. Uh, unless you had the right spells in place. Everything was clustered. Oftentimes you needed to go into underwater shipwrecks and so on. And then needed to find the spawn. Um, all the while, whilst fighting against uh, stupid underwater mobs that want to uh, strangle you and keep you down there. So yeah, ouch. We need soft clan shell meat, which I think was in those uh, little boxes down there. No, 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 no. It was with the crawlers. Okay, so it's just a kill quest. And speaking of shipwrecks, there is one. All right, let me start to grind away and unless something really important is happening uh, i will fast forward it uh, for you guys and by the way there is something really important the deep uh, uh, search that is the old shit situation where you are running into a massive giant who by the way also does not run out of breath so i marked him Luckily for us, that's the type of enemy that you cannot, like, oversee or overlook. Alright, so, we're halfway in the quests. We have killed enough Naga to finish that part, at least. And we're left with <coughs> a few other uh, things that still need uh, doing. Number one, we need to kill quite a few of uh, these things here, actually. Um, uh, different uh, crabs of sword. Uh, some that might have a silver key. Some others just for the clams. You can see we're collecting that as well. Soft shell clams. On top of which uh, there is a uh, sea giant that is roaming this area so got to be very careful with that what I'm currently doing is trying to stay on top of uh, the water line and stay at somewhat reasonable mana levels um, and use whatever we can in order to drink typically uh, what World of Warcraft has done very well for mana using classes like the mage, uh, for instance, 
is uh, that they always have these little floating uh, items or sometimes uh, columns of uh, runes so whatever it is at the end of the day uh, what it really is used for is you can get out of the water drink shortly and then kind of continue the adventure that's actually a uh, smart game design never really appreciated it as much as uh, i did when playing soul, uh, solo here on hardcore typically uh, these quests i i have uh, either skipped them or done them in a tandem and <clears throat> when you are a healer warrior tandem then you're just like going along uh, the ocean floor and killing everything inside anyway so I will try to get uh, Rex, Rex more silver key, try to not aggro the giant and uh, try to get a, cap, a couple of uh, the uh, underwater clams on, uh, on top of it. So what's to do here? I'll fast forward it for you guys. Okay, we're done with collecting all of li our little trophies. I'll just keep enough mana to get onto this island because there is claim Rex Moore's treasure which we can now do with both of the keys that we have gotten. Um, as you can see below the surface, there are quite a few Nagas. Oh, and people are dying left and right. Today seems to be a bad day. Lots of like level one to 20 characters that just got wrecked. Anyway, so we're going to go uh, and claim the treasure. And from there, potentially Hearthstone back and do the quest down here and in that quest and there's another quest up here so <clears throat> still lots more to do and i haven't even collected the level 34 uh, spells so far good so the island is a little bit tougher to get onto overall since it's very densely populated but uh, they are our drinking spots over here and then this will be where we're going on to the island there are a couple of not unique but a uh, couple of nagas that you wouldn't see in other locations you just got to be wary of that for instance uh, this tide hunter here i think they are only on this island Good, so we're clearing the shoreline, one at a time, and even letting them run away. And then I think the box is up here, if I'm not mistaken, so. Ramjan's Isle, uh, okay. getting those sea witches down the advantage of casters is they tend to not have the most hit points this guy does have throw and frost nova okay cool well help him in the end he went down okay again that's the advantage of a caster you can pull these guys uh, even from a quite a distance the sea witch here didn't get a single spell off Uh, not 
percent sure. But this guy is definitely kind of the boss on this island. Sure he dies and doesn't trigger anything else. So the chest should be somewhere here. Very quick respawns on the island. Not surprising. Ah, there we go. There is the chest. Interesting, even more DPS than our wand. Wow. By the way, I haven't even mentioned it. Uh, I joined another guild, uh, the only raiding guild on uh, this server, mainly because they have a bit better. Um, support in the end game so out of curiosity did we get that uh, new wand yeah I'll just keep the other one five shadow resistance is uh, is good and the DPS is not that massive so the difference in DPS 0.7 extra DPS nah. Not worth it. Uh, yeah, nice, but not really an upgrade for us. Okay, so naturally, since we've just completed quite a few quests, uh, I should have maybe teleported uh, into the city, got my new spells, and then Hearthstone back here. Well, it is what it is. Um, we're going to do the quest line down here next. And I would like to hand in the Corruptor as well, because I know there was definitely another follow-up quest in the Receptor of Light up here. So at least three more quests. Let's go. Gosh, damn it. Yet another uh, giant. 38 group mob. I mean, I think I would be able to escape, but I really don't want to give it a try. This guy is likely hitting hard three to five hits and we are toast anyways better so we're not slaying these guys instead what do we need to do we just had received a quest stealing supplies okay what's that about Oh, okay, it's back to the old habits of going there and effing over your enemies. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm down uh, with that. On top of it, might as well hand in the Corruptor and get the follow-up. I don't know, there might be a follow-up down here. So now is the right time to do it. And we got Scepter of Light uh, still as well. All right, handing in our quest. 
but still the uh, the demon that we're trying to slay. Good. And the follow up was down here the Corruptor. Yeah, 40 elite quest. Not gonna happen. I might as well abandon that. Simply because it's not going to happen. We're going to do uh, stealing the supplies and Scepter of Light. Scepter of Light will be back to here, which is a bit of a detour, but it's still a war level quest, so might as well do that first. All right, back to the orcs. Time for us to crack down on the camp, get the Scepter of Light, teach these guys a lesson. There is only one casting. Don't dare to throw your puny shadow bolt at me. Good time for us to invade the camp. There's a gnome mage as well. These guys are not having a good time. Time for the Scepter of Light. Let's hope that this guy doesn't F it up. Seems to me that he is here and is dealing with the same enemies. Well, might as well team up, so why not? We don't even need to kill these guys, we just need... count this spell. I'm having way too much fun with that gnome. All right, where's that stupid scepter of light? Hmm.
So, Scepter of Light. Oh, we already got it. Never mind. Well, in which case, time to slow fall. And move back. And there we go. After a little bit of walking, we are handing in the scepter to Asmund. There you go. <sighs> yeah, no. It's not going to happen. Thanks, buddy. Maybe at a later time. 38 and back to the island. Nah. Mm -mm. Should have done that beforehand. Uh, that's the disadvantage of not remembering all of the quests. Uh, I used to know everything so that I could just do it in the right order. And believe me, that was even faster. But yeah, it is what it is now. We're going down here and are doing the ceiling supplies quest next. All right. So... We're almost done with the quest. Relatively straightforward. You just need to steal flower sex. Uh, couldn't be easier. Fabulous. So that's six out of six and we can go directly back. Let's do that. Good. While sending all of uh, that in, I decided to do a very, very quick move to Ogrima uh, to get my skills. We got a couple of good ones and I will not only do that, but there seems to be a, a booty bay buff coming up in a few minutes and that would be a world buff uh, so might as well get there ASAP all right so we went to uh, Strang of Thorn unfortunately we missed uh, the global buff it happens it is what it is we got a lot of quests so so that will happen in the next episode or we're finding a dungeon group anyways for now thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next episode bye bye